Hi, I'm here at Epcot with my friend Shannon, who's also on Instagram as um, Dole Whipper. So we both eat gluten free or celiac. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So today, though, we're going to do something a little bit different because it's spring break and we were mad to come to the parks during spring break where it is $35 a day for GD Plus and all of the rides are already at like a one hour wait and we rope dropped and it's still a one hour wait. So we decided that instead we're gonna do a sangria standoff and go have a little friendly cheers around and see which one is the best. I love it. Let's Think do we it. Can handle it. Oh my gosh. Okay. If there, were, there wouldn't be two better people <laughs> for this standoff. So, so follow us as we try to then exit the park while standing during the standoff. There we go. <laughs> oh, and look, there's a flower hanging down. On. It's like Alfred Hitchcock movie. Anyways, hi! Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> We're at, um, La Cantina de San and 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 Hell. And Hell. I did it. Okay. So this is actually located. If you're going into the Mexico Pavilion, on one side is a Choza de Margarita. That's kind of has the thatched hut over top. So they do have margaritas and stuff there. On the other side is the quick service with like one bajillion windows to order from. And we're right on the water. You can see the lovely view of whatever those things are that are going away behind us. And on this side, they have a Mexican sangria. You had to try it, right? So here we have our Mexican red sangria. It is a mixture of red wine and rum. Delicious. Which, and I feel like, wouldn't you have thought tequila? Wouldn't you have thought tequila? I don't know. Missed opportunity. So I think later we should get red wine and tequila and just mix our own and see what happens. But anyways, so this is with rum. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see what this one is. So Easy. I can taste the rum. Yeah. For sure. It's so this sweet. isn't like, oh, it's in there somewhere and there's a lot of mixers. Yeah. It's definitely in there. Not just somewhere, all the where. Yeah. And what was this one? 13? 13 bucks. Mm. Not bad. I'm going to say a wildly unpopular uh -oh. thought, I think. So I would probably, oh, did you, it almost took off your head. <laughs> These birds are insane. The one time I filmed and it was bees, it got stung by bees everywhere, and so now we're just going to be attacked by birds. And then, anyways, it's a nature day. We're on a nature walk. There we go. Uh, so, <laughs> flower garden. Flower garden. <laughs> so, I think I would get this over a margarita, to be honest, because it doesn't taste as like sugary it's to me. Super, it's not incredibly sweet. You have the sweetness from the rum, but it's not yeah. like simple syrup. Mm -hmm. It's not simple syrup. Right. And I don't taste a lot of like juices in there, even though it has, so you, you can know that how the sangria is made. Let me, if it's really murky and cloudy, then it has more juices in it, like orange juice or pineapple juice, whatever they deem worthy of their sangria. This one has a little bit to it, but it's not too bad. So there's some juice in there, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. For $13, when well, most margaritas are like $16, $17. Yeah. I'd say this is a good one. It's All good, right. It's really well balanced. It's a good way to start. Yeah. More to come. Who's <laughs> hot? set up the camera on top of a very shaky environment so um that's my bad but anyways over at oh god gelateria 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 toscana yeah i thought you're the italian i am the italian don't tell my grandpa um anyways so they have two options there frozen you know how i feel about frozen and if you don't i feel like this about frozen i'm gonna do it anyway 
So we have um, the red frozen sangria and the white frozen sangria. They have, let me tell you these ingredients. Let me read it because it was a bunch. So the, the red's base is Cabernet Sauvignon, the white's base is Prosecco. And then both of them have all of the remaining things. Rum, triple sec, peach puree, orange juice, and pineapple juice. And when you look up on their little allergy binder in very bold letters, it says gluten free. <laughs> no need to worry. So they knew we were coming. Yep. They got the memo. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Let's do a smoothie. <laughs> Mine is like a fancy mimosa. Is that what it tastes like? Mine is like a fancy mimosa. Yeah. Mine tastes like frozen red wine. Cool. Should we try each other? Are we allowed to do that? Okay. Oh yeah, yours is way fruitier. Yeah. So I obviously can't taste the Prosecco because what you couldn't taste Prosecco in a frozen yeah. drink. It just seems impossible. Um, but I taste the other stuff, but it does taste like a, so like if you, if you're like, oh, that sounds really good, but I really just like my stuff to be really fruity and, and a little bit sweeter, I would say this is that a really one. good option because yeah. you're not going to be like boozy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but then if you want some red wine, but it's super hot and so that's just not weather-wise your deal today, then that's the way to go. Yeah. I, I mean, if you're looking for a breakfast boozy drink, mm -hmm. This could be a really good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good comp. I do think that Mexico so far is top. Yeah, and we've had two, so this is currently ranking second. There we go. For <laughs> three. Oh yeah, that would be third. That for would me. be third for you. Because it would be too fruity. For this me. is very fruity. So it just depends on my mood. I it's know. just with red wine, I gotta watch out because sometimes it'll give me a headache. So mm -hmm. I know if I'm gonna be going hard with the sangria, if I go white, it's easy. But then they yeah. make it too fruity. Do you try Tylenol ever to help with that? <laughs> Usually Advil. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're killing my liver again. Just trying over. to help the cause. I know, it's true, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>what we've just been discussing is that maybe we're not so good at this because we're splitting drinks. Well, that's not true. The last one we had, we each had our own. Yeah. But we're on number three. And there's more to go. And I'm afraid that um, it's not looking so good for us. <laughs> but you know what is looking good? It's a sangria over here in Italy. Um, but they have the red sangria, and so it's made the same, those same ingredients from, and you're going to say the name for me. Oh, the gelateria? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That one. Um, so, from over there, they have the frozen version, and here is the non-frozen version. Remember what we said in Mexico? See how cloudy that is? I love my Italy people. I love my heritage. Um, but that's some, some cloudy sangria, which is fine because it's kind of juicy, um, which is very good if you're having, like, a party or you plan to have a bunch of them because you have the juices in them. Um, sure. Makes it cheaper. It does make it cheaper. And then, you know, I mean, you have the wine in there, so it's not like it's not. You know, rum. Loaded. And it had rum. Yeah. Not okay. tequila, like the bartender thought. We thought they had tequila in it, and we were like, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Tequila's in here, rum is over there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Up is down. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> It is good. Better than the frozen. I thank you. Yes. So glad you said that. Better than yes. the frozen. Yeah. It is better than the frozen. Because the frozen had that, still just had like that smoothie. Yeah. You know, taste where it wasn't. If I'm going to drink a sangria or a liquor drink or something like that, I, I want to be able to taste the components in it. Like, I don't want to just taste the juice. Yeah. I don't want it to be like hidden and like, oh, that was so super strong because you couldn't taste anything. Like, I want to taste all of the layers of it. I actually think this one you Yeah. No, this is um, very wine forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very wine forward. 
not as rummy as Mexico. No. Good. But still very good. Who knew that Epcot had this many ingredients? You did. <laughs> That's just because. <laughs> okay. True story. <laughs> Which is why we're here. But I mean, like average. I know. Was. I know. It's why we're doing it. It is the same sangria stand up. We have to. Because as you're walking around, you're like, why are these things in these videos? Oh my god, this is going downhill. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fantastic. It's so great. So, fun story. I, When I was in college, a friend of mine, her name is Gina also, and if she's watching this, which she's not, but I might make her, um, we made a sangria, and so we you know, put all the components in it, we squeezed some fruit in it, whatever. We went out to this pool party, run it there, and everybody was just hammered. Yeah. They had like two drinks, and they were completely hammered. And she looked over at me and went, I feel like we did something wrong. I was like, no, we, we got this, we got this, we got this. We're naming off all the ingredients. And we went, oh, juice. And I'm gonna need juice. So it was like straight wine and liquor. And of course, all these people yeah. were just college kids, so they were like, yeah, it is. And this is so good. But, anyways, that was a party. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the way to make sangria. I mean, I make it kind of the same way now, but now I use things like Saint Germain. Ooh. You know? Yeah, we'll see. Right. So yeah. Add a little flavor in there, or like. Yeah. No, see, I still just get my, my bag of frozen fruit from Aldi. Okay. I pour that in a cup. Like that high, a shot of rum or brandy, oh. and then wine. And you make it by the cup. I typically do, depending on my feelings. Yeah. Hi. We were just talking about how I went to a wedding in Scotland and really wanted to dress up like Merida from Brave because obviously I did. And so I obviously did. Like I bought the dress. It was a but did you wear teal ish it? velvet. I did to dinner a different night. I didn't want to okay. like, I didn't want to be the star of the wedding. Not upstage the bride. <laughs> With my long sleeve velvet dress. Okay, so here we are in Via Napoli. Yeah. No, we are in Via Napoli. Um, and they, so like food wise, you know, we sat down and she was like, do you want any focaccia? Do you want any bread? And we said, oh, you know, we both eat gluten free. And she went, yeah. So, um, so we didn't get any of that. Um, they do have gluten free pasta here, no pizza. They have a very nice salad. They have a really get. great salad. Like, seriously. Okay. I, I, I know us gluten free people, they're always like, here's a salad. But no, it's good. this is, can't deny the good. it was really good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to pick this up. No? I had a coach. Oh, Happy. Look at that pretty. So we have a Prosecco sangria with aromas of golden apples, pear, and honey. We have a Gavi Fasciolo sangria. So this is the white wine sangria. It's more citrusy. And a Cabernet Terra de Baco. That would be um, a little bit, it says delicately spicy in the finish, we'll be the judge of that. What are we trying first? Do you want to just go like each to each? Sure. Okay. My backwash to your backwash. Sitting by the fire. I don't know. <laughs> Much better than your frozen one. That's like fruity in a good oh, way. Oh, a hundred times. Yeah. This is fruity in a fun way. Like yeah. that champagne comes through, the fruit Absolutely. flavors come through. That's delicious. I would drink that again. You can kind of see the bubbles on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yummy. All right, champagne sangria. Good. Yep. That's good job. Um, I need your impressions first, because okay. I don't want to spoil it with what I'm going to say, but I have a definitive feeling. It's not as bad as, I know we're not doing festival drinks, right? but there is a festival white wine sangria, which just tasted like orange juice and Pinot Grigio mixed together. This is much better than that. 
it's much better than that because it's much more wine forward. So that's interesting because I, I thought it tasted like water. I wonder if we get a straw in here, if it would be better because we do have, you know, the ice, but right. it is a little bit watery. Yeah. It is a bit watery. But I'm just thinking, if you, like, if you say the festival one is even worse than that one, then, oh, like, we definitely don't get the festival one. Don't do the right? festival Which one. Right, said, like, Don't do don't. the festival one. Please don't get the red one. You know, if you're going to do red wine, sangria. Here. No, I can, I can taste some more of the fruit flavors in that. You're right. I may have gotten just, like, a definite ice cake. It's not bad, though. Like, it's not super sweet, though, either. It is is the red cabernet yep. spicy tomato based oh it's perfect with spicy tomato based sauces i was like what is happening i, I, I once had a tomato one. wine it was awful awful terrible okay, so many questions mm -hmm. oh okay I like that. See, so I kick at the end. I wonder if that's like a brandy. It could be a, maybe. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't say on here. It's actually not as helpful I mean, as I wanted it to be. It's a it. Cabernet, so it has that, like, mm -hmm. hold. I like it. Yeah. It's good. These were good. So definitely yeah. in all of the Italy Pavilion, I would say these were the winner. Yeah. Even, like, combined. What I really want to do with them is make like a hunch punch, and I want to just put all of them in one glass and then continue on my day. <laughs> but I don't know if we'll do that. I mean, we do have large glasses. We have a cup. If they have to go cups, I might. In. You know how this is going. Um, so this is in, we're in Morocco. We went to the, the to-go bar at Spice Table. So there's two different sangrias in Morocco. You can go into Spice Table. I'm pointing to it. You can't see it because the camera's not pointed at. But um, they have just a to-go area, so you don't have to wait in line. Or you can go to the back of the pavilion at Sangria Sips, um, in which point they have, you can only get it for two people. So it's like two, two well, eight-ounce glasses. Yeah, it's two cups. And you can yeah. do like both flavors though. And you cannot get a single though. So you can only get two. You can get two of the red, two of the white, or one of each. But you have to get two glasses. Okay. So here we are with this. And this is made with the red wine, gin, hibiscus syrup, and a little bit of white grape juice. Yeah. Cheers. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really grapey. It's a little bit more grapey. It's grapey. Okay. But let me draw your flower. attention to this, though, too. Look at how clear that is. I know. So it tastes grapey, but I don't think there's a ton in there. Maybe it's the elderflower? I, I have a lot of elderflower, too, though. I don't think they did the elderflower in the red. In the white, they do. So in the white one, she said they do... The white one, they do white wine, an elder elderflower liqueur, which is the Saint Germain's, and then something out agave, and then a juice, which she thinks was maybe a white grape juice, and then in sangria sips in the back for the red, they had the red wine, um, aperol, which is a twist. I've not heard of this. I like aperol. I do too. Yeah. Well. Sometimes. I'm an old man and I like Aperol and soda. <laughs> Just me out with my dad. <laughs> so where do you rank this? I mean, so we had Mexico, we had a lot in Italy. Not surprising. I don't know. I mean, this is very great, like, white grape juice grape. Yeah. There's something else in here. Jen. The gin, but is the gin like? She put a good. She did put a good amount of gin in it. We watched her. 
So it's like an, what is it, an ounce and a quarter? They do an ounce and a quarter of the liquor in Disney drinks. Yeah. It is Bombay Sapphire, which is a nice quality. I feel like I taste the gin. It's Maybe gin. it's in my mind, yeah. but no, it's probably the gin. I still rank this as number one because I taste a lot of the different things. I do get the juice, but I get the little gin ting in the back of my mouth, which I like. Yeah. And it's not super juicy. Like, it doesn't have, like, all the orange juice, the thickness, you know, the, yeah. like, compote part. So I'm going to say, for me, it's so far, it's this. Then yeah. Italy, but the flight. The flight was Not really the one good. inside the other place. Yeah. And then Mexico would be last for me. That would be my rank order right now. Yeah. I think with me, when I want a sangria, I want something fruity, and that's just me. Yeah. So I really did enjoy the Mexican sangria because it was very fruit forward. You had the rum that you could also taste. So I just, I think somebody made a goal. Um, yeah, there's I, a lot of soccer happening back there. A lot of, there's a lot of things going on here in Morocco. Either that or he scored some other, I don't, it's I don't know. who knows what's happening. Um, there was a lot of scoring. This is very good. Yeah. It just doesn't have, it's not very whiny. No. I know, it's more like a mixed cocktail with wine added. Yeah. All right, so I'm down for that. That's apparently my jam. That's okay. I want it to be a mixed cocktail with wine added. Hey. This is Opisi Family. I think I'm saying it right. Correct me if I'm wrong. You will. <laughs> Opisi Family Sangria. Um, we split it into two glasses, obviously, which we've been trying to do the whole day, but sometimes it doesn't work out for us. Um, this is like the family Disney Sangria. So this is yeah. the one that you'll find everywhere. It comes in a box. It's served here in the UK. It's served at several places in the Animal Kingdom, a couple places in Hollywood Studios. Definitely the restaurants in Magic Kingdom for sit down, and also some of the resorts will serve yes. it. So, this is kind of like what you'll find everywhere. It is already certified gluten free and vegan. So, if you were kind of curious to see, compared against the others, how does this taste? I don't know. I mean, I know I how know. it tastes, but like, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. All right. Cheers. 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 It's not bad. Right? For a box, it's not bad. I'm comparing it against the Morocco one from Sangria Set, which is, in comparison, super sweet right now. Yeah, I bet. Like, if I'm doing it back-to-back? -back, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's the ranking order? We had Mexico, Italy, frozen Italy, Italy's white. <laughs> Italy was a big spot for us. Yeah. Uh, Morocco, and then UK. Yeah. I really enjoyed the um, Italy flight from Via Napoli. I thought that was not only a really good value for all three of them, but they were very clean. They were very fresh. Um, I really enjoyed the um, Mexican sangria as far as like a classic sangria. Um, like a fruit forward. Just, very fruit, yeah. yeah, very fruit forward, but I can also taste the, the wine in it, which was good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what do you think? So I'm going to go, my number one is still going to be Morocco, which I thought it would be, but I wasn't entirely sure because there's so many others. But I would still go with the Morocco one um, with the gin. I Maybe I'm just also a gin drinker. Like it maybe. just, it was nice to have kind of that, that component on top. Yeah. Um, this I'm shocked about, but I would say my second is probably like the regular box sangria. <laughs> Like a cheater thing. I don't know. Go to the supermarket and just buy a whole box and take it to your resort. Okay. <laughs> and a close third, like between second and close third. That one from from Italy is great. 
The only thing I think was a downfall for the Italy one is that you can only get that flight if you're sitting inside and eating. Yeah. If it was an option to have that to go, then I would say for sure. Yeah. It is. It, it is very, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to go Morocco first. Morocco up front first. You have to go bar up front first. Then regular old. Yeah. Second. Sangria flight third. Yep. And then, like, if you can remember past that and you're having that, then I guess go back to Morocco for the other one. You don't and care about Mexico. The Mexico. You don't, you I really like, like the Mexico. Mexico. I just felt like it was juicy. It was really cloudy was juicy. and juicy, and I wasn't crazy about that. I do think that we played it right, though, like, to start your day with a juicier sangria. Absolutely. So that was the right call, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I did really enjoy and think that the frozen Italian white was a very breakfasty. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was breakfast. I mean, that's a mimosa. Yeah, so depending where you are first thing in the day, you either get that one or the Mexico one, and that's where you get yeah. I agree. Okay. Well, well cheers. cheers, and thank you so much for following along. This was... Excellent. Yes. Do you want us to explore more gluten-free drinks? Always. We won't say no. Never. We're here for it. Always. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.